a spoiler alert. I'm going to give away a plot point. I'm Lord Adler shrugged, so don't listen if you don't want to hear it. Eddie Willers is left helpless in the desert of Arizona. Why did Ayn Rand end it for him like that? It seems unjust, especially when he could have been rescued by Dagny. The fate of a character depends on the theme of the novel. For example, I've been asked, why did Kira die in We the Living? It would have been possible for her to cross the border safely. Ayn Rand herself did. Yes, it would have been possible, but that would have been irrelevant to the novel. It would have been merely accidental. The, the novel was life is impossible under communism. If that's the case, then you have to see life being destroyed. Uh, uh, the, the, what happens to the character? It can't be a matter of chance. Now, Eddie Willers signifies a good average man, but as average, he is helpless without the great uh, creators. So then Ayn Rand asks, what happens to him? And the answer is, without the creators, he is at the mercy of forces he doesn't control. He might meet a settlement that somehow ekes out existence, or he might not. The theme of Atlas Shrugged is, what would the world be without the creators? What would even the best of that world be? And thus, Eddie Willers, the best, is left as limbo. We don't know that he's destroyed, but he's not in charge. That's why uh, he ends up 